And you, you kind of mentioned, obviously, there, you know, working within within Android, yes, it has its negative side of things, it has its challenges, but I guess within Amino, you know, combined now with kind of RDKV, what, what are the, some of the challenges that um, operators are facing that Amino, RDKV can overcome for them? Okay, the, you know, the obvious one is access to premium content. Um, the, the, the premium OTT providers. Now, you know, we have integrated... Um, you know, Netflix, uh, YouTube, um, you know, all of the, the premium um, the premium OTT services on um, Linux SDKs. Um, it's perfectly feasible. Uh, the, the issue with it is, is the cost. You know, you're doing a one-off integration for a single operator. Um, you're not getting the same reuse out of that. Um, and that cost is passed on to that one operator. Um, that's significant. Um, What's happening through RDKV um, with the um, with the work that they're doing? Then we get a platform which is working with those main premium OTT services out of the box. Um, yes, we've certification to do, um, but it's a very different scale of a problem. In my opinion, one big thing that this does is is really allow our customers to much more cost effectively and quickly deploy those premium OTT services. Um, and then the tier two um, OTT services come with your metrological app store. Again, we make sure that's working out of the box. So we're getting rid of those upfront integration costs.